Hey, what is going on guys? It's Slut today, back in another video. Now, I'm on my channel page because I actually haven't done a video in over a year. It's been a little over a year and a half and it was just a Minecraft video. Now, just quickly before this video starts, I'll just say, the reason I haven't been uploading is, well, just haven't really been bothered at the moment, but I thought I might give it a try again. And anyways, let's just get into the video. <laughs> Today's video is drawing cartoon characters from memory. First off, the character we will be drawing is SpongeBob SquarePants. Now, I'm actually pretty good at drawing SpongeBob, so let's just see how well I can do for the first one. Okay, so let's pick. It's a bit of a darkish yellow for his outline, isn't it? Like, probably about that. And then let's start. Now, he's got like a bit of an outline like this, and then like this. Now, this is on Microsoft Paint, so it's not going to look perfect, obviously, but that's probably a good outline. Okay, you can't really see the green outline, but that doesn't matter. So, he's got like white round eyes, something like that. So, there's one. Um, I have to fill this one in. Boom, and then he's got two eyes. He's got two eyes, something like that. Uh, fill that one in. Now he's got some. He's got three eyelashes, which I might just use the square tool for. One, two, three. One, two. Whoops, just fix that up. Three. Yep, yeah, that should be good enough. Now, I th he has blue eyes. So we'll pick turquoise and just go like, oh no, I made the last one. His eyes are like quite blue, so I'll go make two blue circles. Then we'll just fill those in. And it's starting to actually come along. And then he's got his black pupils. I might just use the regular tool for that. So can I go bigger than that four pixels? Okay, so we'll just kind of go like that and then... Like that. Now his cheek, he's got like a red cheek. It goes like that. And then there's like a dot, dot, dot. And then there's, we go back to black. He's got like, I think he might have a black outline around his eyes, but it doesn't really matter that much. Now he's got like a smile like this. Okay, that's a good nose. And now we give him his buck teeth. Yeah, now it's starting to come along. Gave him quite big teeth there. Okay, this is looking good. Now we fill those teeth in, and it's oh, it's starting to look good now. So I'll add a few holes and come back. So I'm just starting on his pants now, and they look something similar to this. About I think this goes here. This bottom half of his pants are like brown, and I think they have black stripes in it. So let's fill that in. So let's give him his red tie, it's something like that, then like one, two, oh that was a bad job, doesn't matter though, it'll work out fine, fill that bit in, fill that bit in, and just this little tingy bit, ah, oh, that should work fine. Now let's start on his arms, and they're just like that, regular cartoon arms. Something like that. <clears throat> he does have legs, obviously, but then he won't be in frame, so they just go down there. And he's got his other legs. Now let's make it all yellow. So f fill this in yellow, this in yellow, this in yellow, this in yellow. Uh, this little blob. Now let's m get this brown and then fill this in. And that's basically it. Let's give him his crusty he, a crab employee hat, which is something like this, and then like this, and it has an anchor on it from my memory. So the anchor looks like this. It's a line through it, and it goes like that. Now, I think there's a bit of red on it somewhere, but I don't know where. Uh, something like that should look good. So I think I'm happy with this drawing. Can we reveal actual SpongeBob? Uh, I guess that looks that looks pretty good. I'll give my 
since this is a Microsoft Paint version, not the regular version, I'll give myself a full point here. Here, I also play along as well, L if you want to. We've cleared the canvas. Now the next character we'll be drawing is Shaggy from Scooby Doo. So from what I remember, he's quite a got quite a skinny like body, something like this. So let's just start on this. And then colour, I can feel that actually. Oh, it looks a bit strange when you feel it though, so I'll just go. I'll go over it again. Okay, now, made it a bit just wider and longer, so hopefully it just looks better. Now, let's start on the neck. And I think he's got, I think he's got like this thing, doesn't he? It just has like a some facial hair on it he's got like an ear up here so let's just go around like that I'm making it I'm making this one quite small so he's got a nice brown comb over something like this I think that looks reasonably accurate let's fill him in um, I don't have fill tool selected now his eyes, I'm not, actually I think he's just, I don't think he's got white around his eyes, I think they're just like this, that looks demonic, so maybe not that, let's make him, ah, uh, doesn't look too bad, being completely honest, I might just keep it like that for now, and just give him some sleeves, he's scared, he's scared, How, okay, now, Arms up like this, because he's like, like jumping up in the air. That's not where his elbow should be, should it? Doesn't matter. Okay, I'll finish off these arms. Okay, on to his pants. So I think they're just, are they brown or are they black? I think, they might actually be black. I might just do this though. Now that's brown. Let's see what black looks like that could be right I need to fill it in though to make sure oh I don't know I might want to go with the brown maybe yeah that does look more accurate so and he might just have black shoes which is so let's just give him his black shoes like that and yeah so I think that's looking good. Wait a second, you know what? I think his hair might be a little bit longer. And he's like, he's, I think he's got round hair, like pretty round actually. So what if we just try that? There still seems something off about it. So what if I just try to make this brown? I feel like it's a slightly reddish color, his pants. So let's just try and see how that looks. I think that looks a bit better, so I think I might be proper happy with this. Uh, let's just give him a quick nose first, because I think he has a nose or something. It, I feel like that's made it look less accurate, but can we reveal actual Shaggy? Um, I've done pretty well. I'm glad I did change the pants colour, I think it's a bit more accurate. The green top could have been a little bit darker. Um, his mouth could have been a bit different in his hair. I actually think his hair's still longer than what I made it. And the eyes are a bit off. They should have been round and had like, the, like these eyebrows at the top. But I think I'm reasonably happy with that. I think it's pretty good. I'll give myself about, uh, three quarters of a point. Next, we've got to do Homer Simpson. Now, I wonder how well I can do this. I might actually just stretch this canvas out just a little bit because I might need more room now let's begin so I think he has a black outline let's stay on that it's about that width now we got to go up and around like that now I'll quickly just do one hair and he's got another one as well mm, yeah something like that now he's got I think he has a nose, and it's like this. Yeah, that seems accurate. 
Then he's got like his beard thing, which is probably looks something like this, I think. It looks a bit mouthy. So what if I do that? Come all the way around. I think I forgot his ear though. So actually I have to erase a bit and then go back around like this. Why is that so thin? It changed the size. About there. I think his mouth actually is a bit larger. So it looks like this. I think they're just like, his eyes are just like that. And we got to fill those in. That looks reasonably accurate. Now let's make him yellow. Is that the, that's the right type of yellow. His eyes are probably a bit bigger, actually. That I think that's looking better. Now he's like um, beard around his mouth here. Let's just get the right color. It's a type of brown. So fill that in. Oh, yes, that's looking. Still, something looks off. Oh wait, I know. So he's got like a bit of an M shape here on his ears. Now that's all I can really think of. Now let's give him his white. He has a yeah. He's definitely got a white top. So let's give him an oh first. Let's give him a neck. Something still doesn't look quite right. I'm not sure. But here he oh I made him white. Whoops. I think that's about accurate. He, actually, I think this might look weird. I think he might actually have a v-neck like this. Oh, that doesn't look great. Let's just undo that. His neck. Then I, he's got like a v-neck. Then I think he's got that same kind of like oh no, not like that. He's got like this. He's got like a collar that goes around a bit. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Maybe if I do this and then like this. I don't know. And then it should be yellow here, maybe. So if I fill this in with yellow, that looks a bit more like Homer. Um, I think I am... So if we just go like this. Yeah, this is looking good now. Um, there's a bit... Oh, no, I've gone to the bottom of the canvas. Can we reveal actual Homer? Oh, I haven't done, I've done quite well here. Now, I forgot to colour this bit in yellow, but if we just make, oh no, if we just, oh no, this is all going to pieces. This is just, I'm allowed to do this because, yeah, there we go. Now, it actually looks pretty accurate, in my opinion. So, I think there could have been an improvement. His he I got the head length about right, but his beard could have been a bit larger and come down a little bit further. Same with his eyes, and uh, touching his nose basically, and the M's a bit wonky and stuff. But I'll give myself three quarters of a point again. So the last cartoon character we're doing is Mickey Mouse. Now I haven't actually seen what Mickey Mouse looks like in quite a while, so this may not be good. As some of my the other drawings I did so let's begin with his ear so he's got an ear something like that I feel like you can see both his ears at the same time maybe I don't, it didn't look right here so maybe if I try it here something still looks off but he doesn't have like a thing like this this comes back in it goes out points out and then goes down, and then this part of the ear kind of just blends into that, and that's like, it's kind of, because it's like a he helmet, isn't it? Because he's just like a person, really. And up, and I think the nose would be somewhere around here. I think it's the nose, then I'll leave room for it, and it comes back in a bit. So, let's draw the nose. I, actually, I'll just use the circle tool. Oh, this is actually looking pretty good so far. So, fill this one in. Um, now, the real question is, is, the, is that ho the whole part left just his face? I think 
it just is. I might just grab this and just fill that in. Perfect. Now fill this in. Oh, this is looking good. Okay, this is looking weird so far, but I don't. I feel like I've got it mostly correct. Does he have? Does he have teeth? That may be why this looks so weird. I don't know if he has teeth. I don't. I don't remember. But I might just make this bit here a little bit bigger. Is maybe what's wrong. And like, I think it might like this. I feel like it's just the wrong color. Maybe I need to make it like a dark, uh, like a like a this type of red. Yeah, that looks somewhat better. Let's just start off the arm with him. So the glove will, can go there, and then I'll just put the other one. I feel like he's got short arms. I, I don't know if I'm misremembering, but I have a feeling as short arms. Put that about there. I probably made the other arm a little bit long. Fill this part in, and then let's grab... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's grab black for his arms in here. I'm actually... This is actually starting to look good, surprisingly. Now, let's just make... You know, it's like his glove. Yeah, I feel like there's also just two buttons here. These are either yellow or white. Now, I'm not 100% sure which one. I think they're white. Let me try yellow quickly. But I don't think they are yellow. No, white definitely looked better. I think I'll go with this. It does look a little bit cursed, but... Could we show Mickey Mouse? Oh, I think I've done pretty well here, to be honest. Um, the eyes and the mouth, definitely a little bit cursed. But for the most part, yeah, I got it correct. The white gloves, they do look a bit weird. Oh, actually, oh, but that is on the other side. He does have, like, stripes, like, wait, like this on his glove. I don't know if you'd be able to see, but he'd have, like, stuff like this, I think, on his glove. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Eyes are a little bit off. They're actually just rounded, but... Not like the way I did them. The nose is almost accurate. It's just not as round. But I did use the circle tool for that. So there'd be more something like this, I'd say. And then you, like, fix that up. But for the, I got the ears correct. I got the... I think... I'd, I think that's also about three quarters of a point. So could we sh show my final score here? Thank you. And thanks for watching. I know I haven't uploaded in quite a while, but I thought I may as well give it a try. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like and consider subscribing. You can always unsubscribe if you want to. And anyways, I'll see you in the next video. If there is one, goodbye.